How's it? And welcome to my podcast. My name is Sally and I am Wool Diaries on Ravelry and on Instagram. And on Ravelry there is a Wool Diaries podcast group where I post all the information about the podcast. Um, I, would, I haven't said it for a while and I was watching some podcasts the other day and I was like, oh, I am so bad. I haven't said, thanked any new viewers or, but or the returning viewers. So I would like to take this time and apologize for that. I would like to say thank you to all new and returning viewers. Welcome to the madness. No, I'm joking. Um, Yarn Bling. Yes, thank you so much to everybody who's ordered. All orders have gone out. Um, there are none outstanding. Um, you can see, uh, again, you can see. Why can I not do that there? I am going to start. I started the other day prepping Christmas. Back. So yes, there will be a few. I'm not going to go mad. So there will be a few Christmas bags coming soon. Uh, yes, again, so thank you so much to everybody who went ahead and ordered. Things went relatively smoothly with the new site. Um, yeah. Awesome, 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 awesome. I don't have much to talk about. Uh, last week I didn't actually even podcast because I had was only busy with Sally Jane's um, Halloween. I was determined a uh, Halloween gift that I was making. I did not get it finished in time. I only sent the Halloween parcel on Monday on actually Halloween. She got it yesterday. She did open it. Um, so yes, she can show the final on her podcast. I got mine and I did not open it until yesterday either, not fair. So I'd like to show you what the bestest friend ever sent. A lot of these um, were tried to be claimed last night. And it, they failed, the children failed epically. However, I will admit something just now. So I got the cutest battest. How cute is that battest? I love it. Batty. Because apparently um, I am an old bat. She did call herself an old bat, but apparently I am also an old bat. So, Batty is going to sit here on my table. I got some cool sugar skull highlighters. These were, um, the boys were like, oh, mom. I was like, oh, tough. These are mine. I got a cool fountain pen with spiders. I didn't actually notice. I was like, why did she buy me a fountain pen? But it's actually got spiders on it. See? And the spider web. It's actually very cool. I do use fountain pens. I do own a few. So that is awesome. I got <laughs> a, um, a note pad, I think it's what you would call it. It's a guy and he's been stabbed through the chest and that's for your pen. So it's the outline of when they, you know, when you, um, you see on all these detective uh, shows, crime shows that outline the body after they've removed the body from the scene. So, very, very cool. My box smells amazing because I got Lush. It's a bath bomb. I haven't opened it, so I don't know what it is. It's fighting against animal cruelty. It's a Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics. And it smells divine. The whole box smells divine. Now, I will say, Sally Jane's Halloween box is far more epica than mine and that is my new that is a word I've made it all epica. Sally Jane knows how much I love these things from my hair. They are awesome. I love them. I don't know where she got these awesome colored ones from. I haven't seen these awesome colored ones before but eh, I'm gonna wear the green one. 
because it's like 9 million degrees and my hair was wet two seconds ago and now it's not and now it's making me hot because to, we, Joburg is experiencing a heat wave so you see you just use it like a normal elastic there you go cool done I got some more of this Zang caffeinated chocolate. <laughs> so this one is the milk chocolate. I haven't tried that one before. Um, like I said, I have not seen this in Joburg. So I don't know. And then the dark chocolate, which I did devour the other ones after she sent me those. Those are the dark chocolate one is awesome. She sent my boys jelly tots, but look, they didn't even eat them yet. They did both see them, but neither one of them actually asked if they could eat them. I got Lime Intense, which is divine, but this is my favorite, Orange Intense. These are my favorite chocolates ever. I do consume a lot. I got a coloring in book. Now, have I mentioned that I get a bit obsessed with coloring in every now and again? I will say. I do... Um, If I, I don't really, we sit at the dining room table to do homework in the afternoon, Deacon and I, and I don't really enjoy knitting at the dining room table. I find it very uncomfortable. So a lot of the times I will actually um, color in while he's doing homework. I don't help. I just sit. And I just, um, if he gets stuck, I assist. Or if um, I see four hours later, we're still busy with the same sum, I will just um hurry it along a bit but that's as much as I get involved so I, oh, the bad bones club um, I've seen these they are a typo um, publication there's a range of them at typo but the thing is is that um, the typos by us I don't know if it's like the by Sally Jane I know you can get them in Australia New Zealand and Morica I don't know if it's like this at the other typos, but they are all sealed. So you actually cannot see what's inside them, which is rather irritating because I'd actually like to see also what's inside some of them. But uh, look at this one. Rest in pizza. <laughs> this one is all skulls. Everything is skulls. <laughs> cereal. <laughs> I haven't seen this. What cereal killer? <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> so yes, inside we're all the same. That's on a, a, a skull. So I can't actually wait. I haven't even looked through the whole thing. Well, you know, you do look through it, but then you see other things afterwards. So yes, this is going to be added to my collection. I love my... I have a growing collection. I'm not even going to try, but it's there behind the red bag, if you can see behind me. Um, I am a little bit addicted to the Joanna Bassford um, coloring in books. I do not have the latest two. I do not have the Christmas one or the Magical Jungle, I think it's called. Um, Father Christmas is bringing them. So I do, I do have them, but I don't have them. So, But I am a bit obsessed. Um, and then... Ugh, you know, just so much. She just so much something else in my box, just as like a last minute filler. <laughs> I'm joking. Epic socks, people. Epic socks. How freaking cool are these epic socks? Right? Who? Lee cow. Unfortunately, like I said, we are having a heat wave. It is like 9 million degrees. So these will not be adorning my Sally Jane said to me yesterday, oh, I'm sorry, it's too hot for socks up there. I'm like, it's too hot for clothes, let alone just socks. It's too hot for clothes at the moment. How cool are these socks, man? Are they matchy? Did she, did she OCD matchy matchy them? Oh, she did OCD matchy matchy. <laughs> I wouldn't have. 
But that's just a mess with her head because she can't handle it. Oh, so the stranded color work, she says. I'm not quite sure. I think that is, I don't know if this is a pattern. If it is, she'll need to tell us. If it's not, she'll need to write it up, won't she? I don't know what yarn this is. I did ask her, but she did not tell me. So pretty, whatever it is. Oh, I love it. I love it. And it, I know it's a fish lips kiss heel. I know it's the rounded toe. I know it's twisted rib on the top. And that's as much as I know. <laughs> And I know it'll fit me because we both have the same big ass feet. So if it'll fit her, it'll fit me. So that was my awesome Halloween box, which now I can actually dig into. Right, what else is there? There is, oh, I haven't even told you. So I keep saying we're having a, a, a heat wave and it's 9 million degrees. Um, the low is 17 and the high is 29 today. Yesterday I was listening to the radio and the lady who does the, the weather in the morning says, and in Johannesburg it's going to be cooler today. It's only going to be 30. And I was like, since when did 30 become the cool? It's, that's not. It's, I know there are places that get hotter than we do, but we are only in spring. We are not in summer yet. And this, I think, is what has um, confused us a little bit, is that it's spring, it's not summer. So what that means for you people who use Fahrenheit is that it's uh, 63 to 85 today. Wow, when you say it like that, it always sounds a lot um, hotter than what, <laughs> what 29 sounds like. I told you I finished Sally Jane's um, Halloween present that you can go on her podcast and see. She will, I'm sure she'll show it sometime. I don't know when, but I'm sure she will. This month is Nanny Swaymo. I haven't started. Why have you not started, Sally? So it's Knit a Sweater in a Month. There's a group on Ravelry. And there are river top pictures and there are, it's, it's huge. It's, it's, there are prizes, but I don't do it for the prizes. I do it because I enjoy the challenge. Um, I am going to do the Big Sister Cardigan by Kate Oaks. And I have Manos Silk Blend in a black, in a black colorway. So I'm going to do that because I know I'll wear the snot out of that. And I can take it with me to Texas. So, but that's future knitting. What am I knitting on at the moment? I, after I finished Sally Jane's epic Halloween present, I, um, I obviously have fallen behind on my Stephen West knit along. Now, if you remember, with the mystery knit along, if you remember, I did it and then I started all over again uh, just before, well, just after the week two clue came out and then I realized I needed to pull my finger out my bum for Sally Jane's knit along, um, Halloween present, so then I fell behind again. And basically, it's all finished. It is all finished. It finished on um, Friday. I have not looked further than the clue that I'm busy with. I have not looked on the thread. I have uh, tried to avoid the Instagram ones. I, I don't want to know because it's a mystery. Uh, I would like to be surprised. So if you are the same as me and do not want to know what's coming next, I finished up to section 7 yesterday, which is up to clue 3 at the end of, no, the beginning of clue 3, I'm lying to you, 
a week three, week three, clue three. Um, so yes, if you haven't looked, if you don't want to know and um, you'd still like to be surprised, I was going to say something nasty, but I won't, um, then yes, look away and I will tell you when to start. So that's one, two, three, four. I think that's where I showed you up to last time. And that is um, the first week. Then the second week was this section and this section. And now the third week is this section here. And then I've got another sec I've got section eight to do. And then it's clue week four after that. So the colors that I am using, they are all nurturing fiber yarns. I am using this rainbow. I am using licorice all sorts. Why did I do that? I am using natural or I think I think Kole calls it vanilla. And then I am using silver. Um, I do know my next section, section eight, is in silver. So those are what I am doing. Um, I am hoping to have it finished ASAP. Oh, sorry, you can look again. Damn it. Um, I am hoping to have it finished ASAP so I can start my nanny summer. Because I'd like to have that done in November still. So. I'm sure well because it's DK. Um, what else? Oh, new balls. I just broke my zipper ball because I am too hawk. So, yes, I think that's it. Exams are um, start today. Um, Deacon's writing maths. Matthew doesn't start until next week, Wednesday, though. <gasps> so, yes, exams. Ooh, ooh. I did say that, you know, in, in a way, it's it's awesome because it um, signifies the end of the year. <laughs> but in another way, it's really horrible because it signifies the end of the year. <laughs> so, yes. So, I'd, before I start waffling big time, I'd like to say... If you want to see progress on your projects, knit on one thing at a time. Oh, I said it wrong. If you want to see progress, craft on one thing at a time. Talk scenes.